Hi my friends, today we model this part, you see some uh, interesting features and this is the drawing. We start by creating this segment of a circle by using dimensions 60 external, 40 internal angle of 70 radius 100 this model is the part 56 from my collection of 100 mechanical parts new empty document take a look of this uh, workbench and select CAD not bender because we create uh, mechanical parts new sketch in the plane xy circle 60 another circle 50 close Another sketch in the same plane is a simple vertical line placed at a distance of 100. This is the axis of rotation. We select the first sketch, then we apply revolve. We select the axis as a reference. This is that axis and not 360, but 70 is uh, the angle. Okay. I hide this sketch and we have the first volume. We continue with creating this flange. Dimensions are here, diameter of 90, 10, 5, 25. We create a new sketch in this plane. C inside and project this line and this point or this line to have this point then we draw a polyline starting from here down right up right up and we go align with that uh, point and we close this contour we make coincident this line with this point then we apply dimensions this is 90 divided by 2 This is uh, 5, this is 10, and all is 25. We have a fully constrained sketch. Close.
revolve you see this axis is vertical by default okay now we create this uh, continuation of uh, uh, the curved body using uh, uh, this uh, arcs and the distance of 25 new sketch in the same plane this one view inside project this line and also this arc we create now a polyline starting from here going to the left up back here and close we have to modify some uh, positions this point is coincident with this point then perpendicular is this with this also this with the same and these two as well this distance is 20 25 now we have a fully constrained sketch close we select this sketch and we apply revolve not this one but our reference which is this circle okay very good next is this uh, square flange 80 on 80 and the thickness is 10 face is at 25 from here we turn this face new sketch on that face then a rectangle with corners dimensions are 80 enter 80 enter 8 then we apply symmetry between uh, this point and this point about this axis then we project this circle and we have a center to place a dimension of 80 divided by 2 close we also project this circle and we draw another one over uh, this close pad the other direction on a distance of 10 this is the thickness of the flange okay then we have to create this uh, feature dimensions are 20 from this face 
radius 12.5 and it is uh, extruded to the part. We use this face for a new sketch. Then we project this uh, line because we want to create a polyline starting from here going somewhere MMM we go back to the line and we close uh, this contour then perpendicular is this on the line parallel is this with this radius 12.5 And this distance is 20, but I have to project this to measure that 20. And distance twenty. We can project also this small line to apply a distance from that line to this point of 80 divided by 2 we also have to place this point on this line close pad the other direction and the, the end is to the first face or combination of faces okay here is a hole 12 and we also see here other holes of 8 and other holes of 8 are here placed on the circle of 74 four holes here and also four here we select this face then we apply hole diameter of 12 and uh, the depth is uh, half of 80 80 divided by 2 we know that this is 80 yes and the hole doesn't go through all the part I turn back the part, I create a sketch, project one corner, draw a circle with uh, uh, not important dimension, then hole of uh, eight on a depth of 10 the thickness of this flange okay then I select this and I apply polar pattern and I have to select an axis a reference this is the reference now we see two but we want four okay 
Then I select this face for a new sketch. I draw, I, I apply view section to have a center for a line with the length of 74 divided by 2 enter minus 45 this line is a construction line and we place again a circle with uh, a not uh, known diameter close hole diameter of 8 dimension through all we don't have anything below this part okay we select the hole then we apply polar pattern the axis is known instead of two I place four holes okay that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye